And then around behind the house there's a well that has some grasshopper things like that are pumped. base of the windmill. Here in 1965. Goodness sakes. Yeah, we've got about everything here. Well, Rosie, do you, you want to talk to him while I'm in front of the camera? Or well, we, we can, if he just wants to show us a little bit of what, what he has here, I guess I think we would enjoy that. Well, have you always been a collector? I got a fireplace here. Well, Wait. you sure do. Isn't that neat? Yeah. It's an oldie, it's isn't it? Mean Yankee's taking that for the bed. Yeah. Well, here, explain this. She'll tape you, and if you want to explain what you got there and how you Come made it. The... What are you going to do? Take a picture? No, I'm just. Well, I'm, you can leave I'm, your hat on if you want to. No, I got my <laughs> special hat at work. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, that's I'm good. A professional. There you go. Oh, that's looking good. This ain't your first time to be photographed, huh? <laughs> now that hat, I bought that in 1931. Mm-hmm. Auburn Stockman, Denver, Colorado, seven dollars and thirty-five cents. It's a triple X Stetson, and it's been worn every day. I used to do a lot of cowboying and stuff. And, uh, I've got uh, one of those that Lady Witch saw. Wanted to buy a gun show, and I took and uh, she asked me what it'd take for that hat today, and I said, I'll tell you what, I said, I took it off, laid it on the table, and I said, uh, if you've got a hundred dollar bill and a fifty over here, you'll get that hat. I had two of them. And hell, she had it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I gave her all the dope on it, and she, uh, I asked her what she's going to do with that hundred and fifty dollar hat. She said, well, okay, she said, I'm head of the Historical Society of St. Louis, and they had to in the museum there at St. Louis. But I felt so bad about uh, taking her on, I took the old boots. I used cowboy a lot years ago, and uh, so I just took and gave her the boots to her. <laughs> but them hands have been used 88 years. Mmm, well, goodness. Done pretty well. Yeah, That's well, true. the funny part of it is I've got all my fingers and everything, too. Yeah. yeah. So how long ago did you make the tractor? I just finished it out. Oh, really, that ain't saying. none of your business, you know that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just finished it out. That's made out of old bowls, and uh, yeah, these cool. are old-time nails. I bought a bunch of them at an auction, a can full of them. And if she's a police woman, she's writing down stuff there. No, 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 no. <laughs> she's just a good old farm gal, just like we're farm people too. Well, you know, I'll tell you what. There was seven of us boys in the family. And that was back during the Depression. I was born in 1913. And uh, Dad was a good provider. He always had meat on a table mm -hmm. every day at noon. But I never did figure out what become of a pet monkey. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's all right, huh? uh, Well, what is this? Is this out of copper? Your your yeah, airplane? That airplane weighs almost a ton. When I first went to work at Boeing in 1940, uh, I uh, a bunch out of Oklahoma City wanted some crafty guy to build a steel model of this B-47. Well, I built this at Boeing, and here. Uh, that airplane was $8,000 they paid me in labor when they built it. Is that it, right? Yeah, steel model, made in perfect shell. 
And uh, anyway, what the deal was, the uh, Air Force was going to salvage that out. And the old boy I worked for by the name of Johnson, he brought it over, he built a crate and brought it over to me. And uh, I and the wife and the two kids brought it through this front door here. But uh, we had quite a job by it. Well, so it's got a lot of <laughs> sentimental value to you. Yeah. Gee, well, it's... Uh, it. the, it, the inside of it's made out of maple. I turned it all over. Oh, the machine, really? The machine, yeah. And then I had to cover it for copper for this radioactive material. Yeah, and they flew it in the wind tunnel. They probably flew on flown in the wind tunnel probably a million miles. Oh, yeah, oh my goodness. No, it's a good hobby or pastime. It's uh, pretty hard to beat, you know that. But you never want to quit doing something. I've been a, well, the last two or three days, I've been making knives here. Ooh. Therefore, oh, now, wow. right out these old shoeing racks. Try it in your right hand. Yeah, it really fit, fits good. That's. Yeah. So is that for like a hunting knife? Yeah. Is it's that? A, yeah, it's a. But and is it? Is it good. wood? What, what wood say? or bone? What did you say? The blade is made out. Well, of? Well, it's made out of an old rash. They would nail oh, a okay. rash. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nail the shoes on a horse and then use this. Right. Now here's one here that's finished. Oh, that's beautiful. Well, that's what that this knife will be just like that. Yeah. Right? Get through with it. Uh huh. But the handle, that's really yeah. a unique handle. Well, that's a piece of an old ear horn. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Look at that. Hmm. Right that's nice. Yeah, it makes pretty good knife. A. Uh, well, good. Just fits the. Yeah, but these knives of mine, you want to treat them with a lot of respect. Ooh! Oh my goodness! I make all moon scabbards and everything like wow. that. Wow! So handmade. Well, how long have you been so not... handy? Did you do some of this kind of stuff when you were working for oh, Boeing? Oh, probably since you're two or three years old, I've been doing it. Have you always been a Kansan? Well, uh, no. Uh, uh, Dad and Mom come up here out of reservation. I was about a year old when they got up here. <coughs> and everybody asked me if I'd been around here all my life, and I said, not yet. The most yeah, beautiful sir. knife that I make is made out of cable, one inch cable. What do you what do you mean cable? No. But see that that design, Ooh. if you grind clear through that knife. And it would still have the same design oh. in it. <laughs> that's one of these tables like you use on these big cranes. Yeah, that's beautiful. Oh. Mm. That's Those old, are beautiful. That's old beautiful. Candace Deerhorn on it there. I enjoy Well, did you ever take any classes to, um, you know... Uh, no, I don't want nothing to do with people. <laughs> I tell you, I give a lot of talks around different places, mm -hmm. and the uh, fact of the matter is I got one coming up, I got notice from uh, the old boy over at Wichita, the Masons. I just did one for the Shriners, and uh, here's a letter I got from them guys there, you can look at mm -hmm. it. Here, let me... Here, maybe I'll trade today. But, uh, yeah. Trade with you? Yeah. Just mm -hmm. let y'all pressure me. Which one do you mean? I've got five of them. <laughs> what? Which, uh, which one want to work in? Well, that's what I go do, you know that. <laughs> you can hold one of them cars up if you want to take it while she's holding Yeah, I'd like to do, do that. To... Pick one up there. And let well, did you stain there. this a little bit to get the green color? You need it in some light, Steve. No, that's To fine. get that green color, did you stain that a little bit? On the car? Uh, no, it's just natural finish. Walnut. Now that one sports car, it's got a little stain on it. Yeah, it's yeah. It's just regular uh, finish. So where do you get all your little little attachments on there? 
Okay, I'm okay. down there and hold this up and let him get a picture of this. I'm kind of proud of this. Well, I let know. me help you hold it. I'd, I'd rather know, have you in the picture. I'd rather it. have you in the picture. Oh, that's beautiful. Let me, let me stand here in the light. I think this would be nice. I ain't got all There nothing. we go. <laughs> <laughs> so, you taking her shoes? Or I, I don't know. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm recording you. I'm recording you. I don't know how old I think you are. Why don't you I'm just tell eight, me? 88 years old. 88 years old. When, when's your birthday? Hey, November. November? Yeah. Put that down, Doris. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. You yes? never want to quit doing something. Always have something keeps, to do. Keeps you know. active anyway. Be These like are this. Just These two old boys were driving down the highway and they had car trouble. One got out and raised the hood up on the car. He said, we can't fix this unless we've got a monkey ring. He said, well, we don't have a monkey ranch. And this one guy said, well, I'll walk back up to his farmhouse, see if he got one. So he walked up there, and the uh, backyard was all fenced in, it was one by 12. And uh, he said, uh, this colored lady comes to the door. He said, what you all want? Could you help me? He said, yeah, you got a monkey ranch? No, this ain't no monkey ranch. This is a daycare center. <laughs> <laughs> That's beautiful, though. Goodness sakes. Well, I don't suppose you sit in, I mean, you, you sit in the evening and don't watch much TV, do you? Yeah, that's made out of cow Yeah, made out. Well, how do, you, how do you decide that you can move from wood to metal to, to cow horn to right up there? It's all up there. Just want to take an ocean to do. Well, do you ever um, jot any of your ideas down before you decide to do them, or it just comes out? Hmm? Natural. Just, yeah. just starts out. Yeah, it's just good, good hobby or pastime. Well, is it mostly carving, or have you? I see some drawings and things here. Yeah, I do a lot of that work. Too. Do you? You know what that's made out of? Oh, but that's good. Look, is the black an ebony? Yeah, no, I mean the knife. Made oh, that, out of a Harley Davidson motorcycle chain. Oh. That's what that's for, Judd. Uh, then with some welded shut, I uh, take and hammer it out to where you want it and cut the ends off of it and grind it into a knife. Mm. Oh, that, that, those are just beautiful. Yeah, they're pretty good. They sell pretty good. They. Well, how do you, do people just find out about you and therefore they come I here? I really don't care. <laughs> <laughs> they just I've, appear. I've sold carvings all over the United States everywhere on the other men. Uh -huh. Down in Tallahassee, Florida, and some of them went into Dakota, North South Dakota. I don't do any advertisement because people want you to make this stuff. They want it yesterday. Uh -huh. But I just don't work that way. Had to, lady come in here the other day, I was making carving for her, and uh, she said, well, when do I get it? I said, when I get through with it. <laughs> well, wouldn't that be what you'd tell her? That's right. Yeah, you That's can, right. Uh, no, they don't. Uh, no, for 30 years I jumped and went to work at Boeing. We were doing line stuff for 10 years up in the Canadian border. But I don't work that way anymore. I just do what I want to do, you know that. That's good. You're, le you're fortunate if you can do that. Well, yeah, but I'll tell you what, over there at Boeing, they worked construction out here, built radio towers for about five years, and I worked in a logging camp out of Estes Park out in Colorado, mm -hmm. and uh, I just do what I want to do. People don't like it, they can go somewhere else, you know that. So how'd you meet your wife if you're on the go here well, all the time? I get this on tape, it's really good. I come out of Cherokee. <laughs> I come out of Cherokee Reservation. My granddad was a doctor there. And he got shaken up with his nurse and he finally married her. Good. And uh, Sarah Gullett was her name. Mm -hmm. And when I was on the reservation, my, uh, they called me Setting Bull. Well, the <laughs> wife was running around there and they called her Squatting Heifer. We had three kids, and we called them running water, hot, cold, and lukewarm. <laughs> no, she's she's a farm girl around here. She was from mm -hmm. Little Town in Dublin. What do you guys do? Come down from there today? 
from Lucas. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. We just that's a pretty good drive up there. Uh, I used to Four. do a lot of work up around there years ago, building radio towers. And mm -hmm. my sister lived up there, and I'd stay with her. I was a young kid, and uh, we used to go there at Lucas when he first. He had a few in his backyard there, but I think it's very big now, isn't it? This is yeah, S. P. Yeah. Densmore. Yeah. Mm hmm And the Garden of Eden. Yeah. I've been going to get up there, and I. Seem like I have time getting away. Well, you need to come visit. What what we are is a a art center that complements the Garden of Eden in that uh -huh. everybody's work who who we exhibit there are all self taught and they're kind of creating environments yeah. like you are doing here and well, work okay. on them for years. You know, right around this country, everywhere there's a gold mine if people would just take advantage and do it. Mm -hmm. But we got all of our stuff, we got it hard way we work for it. Dad and Mom had a bunch of good boys and girls. But they're all dead now but me. Exactly. But I think the old man got my number mixed up somewhere. Really. <laughs> he, he ain't ready well, for me yet. You know <laughs> well, you still have things to do. Oh, huh? yeah. yeah. I don't want to go this work and be an That's right. Here's, That's right. There's a picture over there on the wall when I was making some movies over there. Oh, my goodness. Here's so you're a past movie star? Here's this boy of mine there who's been making movies with. I see that. Yes, 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 yes. This uh -huh. is old Lou. Who is that guy? Gossett. Lou Gossett, yeah, he's been, he is a Confederate soldier he's been making. Yes, but what he, he probably... Got in, what he got into that, I don't know he was a gun handler. Too. You know, spin these oh, things yes, back and yes. throw it up near and stick his butt out and catch it. Yeah. Oh, that's what got him to move. Is he's, but I trained him. I worked the police force at night here. I'd work one shift at Boeing and come over and work another shift here on the police force. And Yeah, there hadn't been no bed of roses. We weren't everything we got. Well, then, he's, he's out of state. And do you have any kids that live nearby here, then? No. no. Well, I got a daughter that lives here. She's uh -huh. uh, a big wheel over at Racy on there at Wichita, uh, Rita. Mm hmm, mm hmm. He just transferred but, down into Florida. He just been down there. Well, tell me about your, your movie star days over there. Yeah, man. Yeah. Well, that's uh, with uh, KFH and uh, Larry Hatterberg and Channel Street, and there's another one made out of domestic. Well, do you you put this design? No, no, no. it just it, automatically it, it, forms yeah, it with just the. Yeah, it just automatically formed in there. I think you know how to do it. She hears This is just a good. Mmm. Now that grip there is made out of this stuff. You know when you have a car wreck. Uh -huh. And they pat your body up on the car. This is body putty, what they oh. call it. <laughs> it is. Well, how does the the coloration it's was just just, the, color just like that? Smear it on her, yeah. It's my you father's see? favorite material, body filler. Body filler. <laughs> yeah. Those are just wonderful. Well, does your son get home very often, or is he he off? Well, he was he'd been uh, living in Pueblo, mm. and uh, what the deal is, he come through here last Sunday, mm. and they're moving him down into Florida. He's gonna make a bunch of movies down there. But they had him a uh, paid airfare ticket to Hollywood. You know, he lived there in yeah. Denver, yeah. and they'd have a car waiting for him. He never paid none of that stuff. All he had to do was go out and get on the yeah. airplane. And they paid him, when he'd go out the front door, they paid him $270 an hour. And he drove that all the while they was setting this stuff up one time or another. Hey. He was in here Sunday. He said, Dad, I want to show you something. He had him get up off the van and said, put your hands real close together like that. And I did. He wears that old single action six gun. He jerked that thing out and stuck it between my hands for it to get him together. He <laughs> oh my yeah. goodness. Yeah. Well, what age would he be? He's about 40. 40? Yeah, he's about 40. Just <coughs> I cut some of his stuff out better than the good Lord could make it. Ooh. And that's walnut again? No, that's a piece of rosewood, a piece of an old gun stall. Uh -huh. 
my goodness. Steve, are you able to get that? Or do mm -hmm. you need to hold it under the light a little bit? No, you're all right. Isn't that nice? That's beautiful. Oh, I You just have a real, real key, good you know, feel. You know, many people have got it up here, but they can't get it out in, mm -hmm. in their hand. That's Me, true. I just kind of want, but I've been doing it ever since I was about four or five years old, drawing pictures and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. I make a lot of these old shoes like that. They're nice. You don't have any arthritis then? What? You don't have any arthritis in your hands? No, no. No, I still got it. I could probably break some bones in your hands there before. I'd rather you would. Well, I'm using some of You know, you guys don't make your people. The people make you. You know that? You ever think about it? Yeah, that's the way it is. What's your old outfit and one thing does that? No, it's really a fact. Now, is this a little different than somebody back here? Yeah, that's some old one. I've got it sitting here everywhere. I do a lot of work with these little old handy tools here, them little grinders. But all this big stuff, I wrap it out with a chainsaw and then hand finish it. You know, that's it. Cutting it out is no problem. I take a chainsaw and cut an Indian out like that in a couple hours. But hand finish them, you know, mm -hmm. so it looks mm -hmm. good. Like. It makes a difference. I noticed your chandelier here. Well, that there, my granddad and my dad rode in the Cherokee Strip. And that's the only wheel off of the rear of the wagon that was left. That takes this down a place down in Oklahoma down there. Oh. And uh, that rear wheel, so I just brought it up here and made a light out of it. Oh, well, I don't think you throw anything There's up. A, Granddad's old billfold, he was a Confederate soldier. Oh, goodness. Captain T.B. Mark. 1810. Yeah, a lot of people want to buy that, but I couldn't sell it to them. Oh, no. That should stay in the family, yeah. shouldn't it? Yeah. Oh, what's the, on the, the other side? The funny part of it is, now that's picture of the Lord there. Everybody said, Jesus Christ, is that you? <laughs> Well, what was on the other side? Oh, that's nice. Can you show it so oh, I can Oh, you need it? to, you need to. I didn't think. He wants to get this in the picture. We're not taking your money. We're just going <laughs> to. Uh, where is that? And here. Captain. So what does the GB stand for? Captain GB Mock? That was yeah, your answer. Captain. Yeah, but what Bill is Lord the G? Volunteer Infantry. What does the G and the B stand for? His first name. No, his Cap first name. Captain yeah. Gilbert. 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 Okay. I think we've got that. Really, you're asking a lot in question. Yeah. They had their own uh, police force and stuff, see. Uh, did you did you get all the the reading, Steve, or do I need to read? You haven't got enough tape in there. You better shut that off. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not good me here pretty soon. Oh, I does. Maine. There's one And them little short guys, they had a wheel here on the end of it. So, yeah, that's... To, that. to move it along while they were walking? Well, instead of dragging the ground, you see, it where that. Instead of dragging the ground, you see, it would roll on that wheel. That's ah. when the first one was made. Oh, my goodness, I know. Yeah, that's nice. I don't know what that thing would be worth today, probably quite a bit. Well, how did you come across it? Well, Granddad left me a lot of this stuff. And I've been selling a lot of it off, but I can't take it with me. My kids are loaded with it. It's got the guy's name on it. That's true. Hmm? Well, you're fortunate that he to still have some of those things, because a lot of people are just, you know, it disappeared. Now there's a first stage coach. Fisher That's body nice. come out with that. And that little coach <laughs> is all up here. I built that in 1931. And oh, I got first I place with Fisher body on that, you know. And uh, they paid me $100 and a gold ring. 
for making oh my that. Word. Yeah, he's sitting there on the chair. But you say it has leather inside it? No, it's no. all upholstered. It's inside. all upholstered. Yeah, it's got seats. But yeah. how many, how many, uh, I mean, days, weeks would that have taken you? I don't figure you? Well, did you test out planes then? Is that what you, was your job there? or? Yeah, it was yeah. Uh, Boeing paid me for it. They uh, paid me so much uh, a day on flight pay, plus all my motels, maids and everything like that. And then if we had a car rental, they paid for that. Mm -hmm. How did you learn to fly? Huh? How did you learn to fly? Just picked it up at Boeing. 30 years over there, you learn huh. a lot of stuff, see. You learn it the hard way, but I don't know, you know, it's, it's kind of odd. You see all them machines and stuff is in there, most of them is all foreign made. Japan, Taiwan, and England. Huh. Some old boys only got a high school education to walk up and go to run them. It's really odd, but some <laughs> guys got it, some hadn't, see. Mm -hmm. In fact, I don't have it anymore. I think I done forgot all of it. You know <laughs> I that? think you're still... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're just branching out in other areas, anyway. Yeah. Well, I've been selling them, not near as much stuff in here as it was. Uh, I've been selling a bunch of it, mm. getting rid of it. Well, you year-round, you work on doing this. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I sat reading this front room like that. I sat over there in front of that fireplace. Mm-hmm. Well, it's yeah, warm. It was so I welded up some chain hoists and uh, took and we sat here on the wife, my boy. Fireplace. Well, what are these things hanging out there? I don't well, think it's I know, but stuff that I made. I made the. Uh, you're awful damn inquisitive, ain't you? <laughs> well, I'm just like a little kid, you know. Just. Well, hey, you don't see crap like he's ever done. Do <laughs> see, I ain't much for to make padlocks here. There's an old padlock that's handmade. Believe it or not, it works. Tip it up more. Yeah. Some of these old locks, there's a bunch of stuff that Granddad left me. See the brand on that one? Winchester Firearms Factory 60. So that fits down over there. You don't find them every day in a week. What would these have gone on? Like uh, strong uh, bo money boxes? No, they no. used them on their storage sheds and stuff. To like uh, Yeah, where their gun parts and stuff mm -hmm. like that. See, on their factory they'd have maybe their breech of guns and the barrels and stuff, and they used these big locks on them. <coughs> You ever seen these? Uh-uh, that's what I... But then I haven't seen a lot of stuff. See, that ring will come off. Hmm. Now, if you got all day, you can sit down there and work it. Doris could probably figure <laughs> this out, hey, uh... You had just a secret. I don't, I don't think she'll ever do it, do you? <laughs> no, I know I won't. I'm not good at this kind well, of thing. Well, Sorry, just, is this just kind of a puzzle? Yeah, hold that, Yeah? Two horseshoes. Do that one more time. Steve's going to keep track of you here and see if we can repeat it. He gets the... Did you just come up with this, or you? Yeah, it's you're come up really easy. I know, but did you dream up this idea? Yeah. Or, yeah. Yeah. Great. Yeah. <laughs> Look, you got me fouled up now. I can't even work. <laughs> I'll step back from you to give you more room to work. Well, they'll work because I made them. <laughs> You've tried them out. Thank you, that's one. Okay. Hello, this is the box. 
just a minute. Bud Hanky? Let me turn that. Okay, you want to say that again about that one? Since now I'm all geared up here. Well, they probably 300 beer cans melted up in this casting here. So how'd you get all those beer cans? Up to beer joint up north here. Okay. Really, that ain't none of your business. <laughs> well, I just wondered if you liked beer. You know, some people <laughs> I do. And cold beer. Yes, yes. Right so. every night. How did you cast it? Huh? How did you cast it? Did. Yeah. I used this uh, foundry can oh. and made your see your casting made upside down like this. Oh, so you did it in dented form of the same. And then you poured it in the into it. Oh. She's getting no more inquisitive than you are. I know it. I know it. We're a pair here. We, we, <laughs> we're trying to get a question you can't answer, but so far you've done pretty good. <laughs> uh. No, it's, it's a good hobby. Well, it's just, it's your life almost, isn't it? Why? It's almost your life, isn't it? No, not no, yet. No, no, not, 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 <laughs> I'm not yet. I'm getting started good, you know that. <laughs> You've just got a, a yeah. uh, uh, well, no. does your wife do anything uh, yeah, along the she creative? she sleeps once in a while. She's a big, <laughs> fat woman. And she, well, that's good. Yeah, she gets better with her rolls every now and then. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's a little skinny, yeah. Is she? Yeah. Is she? Well, she does a lot of my book work and telephone calls and stuff that way. Well, sure, sure. What's now her this, name? Huh? What's her name? Hazel. Hazel, uh, okay. This uh, guy that just called that you answered the phone on, mm -hmm. he's got a bull riding arena out here. And he's got a oh, great big, uh, where the bull is at, uh, these carvings that are made out there. Oh, is that it's right? Not, yeah. Does it surround the, is it inside? It's all inside, big building. Inside. You gotta drive out there and look at his place, saddles and stuff, and, and uh, tell him. Now, he's got a dog that'll bite, but drive in the yard and honk, so he'll come out. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you. You've got uh, this, uh, you familiar with this road around here? No, not really. Uh, We've been on the main been too highway. Far to tell looking at it, really. <laughs> You go out here at this uh, Fifth Street, let's see, no, Sixth Street, take that all the road. It's about five or six miles out there. And you get out there, oh, probably about Wait. seven miles, mm -hmm. you'll see a big sign, uh, sign that says Sankey Bull Riding. Oh. And take a ride and go down there, and he's got a great big sign down there. You gotta drive back in there. See stuff that he's got. Saddles and stuff, he handles a lot of leather. I make a lot of stuff for him. He called here and wanted some stuff made. Mm -hmm. he, that was him that just called. Well, do, do, he is a uh, business then that sells things? Yeah, yeah saddles, that's he handles his. a lot of horse tax, saddles, a lot of carvings. He's got some fabulous carvings out there. Now, have you been over to Wichita? Uh, no, now, when not. You go over there, drive through Riverside. Okay. And there's a lot of carvings in there that made the places full of them. You want to, those, uh, some of those mm -hmm. people, it's the natural that you, you wouldn't take. Oh, and are side. these yours? Are you going to stay here tonight or Jesus going back? Oh, are they your carvings? Some of them. Yes, some, some are yours. I just, you know, this kid from Peru. Mm -hmm. He got acquainted and he kind of took a uh, liking to one another and we went to making a lot of that stuff. Well, those are... I think I've only seen a picture of one uh, of, of... Oh, he got a lot of them over there. Uh -huh. He got a lot of them. I made a lot of them. And you don't, uh, you don't find people that do much of this stuff anymore, you know that? Mm -hmm. The trouble of it is the kids are so damn lazy and much dope. Mm -hmm. This stuff will die with me. Yeah. Well, that's but true. If I can't take this stuff with me, I ain't going. It's going to be pretty crowded, yeah. isn't it? Well, I don't have you all behind her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have you all behind her. Uh, well, this is just fascinating, anyway. We were wondering about your foot canteen there. Did you? What's that? Uh, yeah, your, that, your hoof? I didn't, I didn't hoof. make that. Yeah, it's a cow's hoof. Uh, yeah, I didn't make that. God gave it to me. It was just... Uh, well, you just are amazing. Well, it's there. different, you know that. Well, definitely. I get sick out of making 
A lot of people wouldn't live like that, but we do. You enjoy it, fine. 67 years we've been living this way. Mm -hmm. It's all right. Yeah. You. We enjoy it. Three things I really hate in this world. Mm-hmm. And that's one roll of coffee and burnt toast and a woke-up woman. <laughs> <laughs> Now, do you make some of these tables? I see some interesting bases on some of those. Are those yours? Um, What's that? Like the, the table there that has oh, the yeah. wooden, yeah, those are I yours. Made, this table here made it. I even made that bed back here. In fact, all my furniture was rough, and guys come in here and want to buy it. And What's that? I'd sell it. Yeah, that old bed there's made out of red cedar out of graveyard over there. What do you mean, out of graveyard? Well, the cedar tree, the big cedar tree, and the wind would blow them down. Oh, that's nice, I'd though. Over here and, uh, oh, my. I over here and made, uh, made stuff out of it. Well, do you put a varnish or a, a sealer on that, don't you? What? You put a varnish or a no, sealer? No, you just polyurethane on it. Yeah. Is what you get up here at Walmart about ninety eight cents a jug. Uh huh. Uh huh. Well, have it's a it's a real good hobby. Well, absolutely. Got you? Oh yeah, a whole bunch. Of whole bunch. Whole bunch. It don't mean much to me. It does. <laughs> The, uh, uh, well, people seem to find you, don't they? Yeah, they is. Uh, <coughs> there's all kind of. In fact, this, uh, those two tapes here that Larry Hadberg made is real good, explains a lot of this stuff. Mm -hmm. Have you seen, seen me on TV lately? No, but we don't get cable, so yeah. we're too far out in the country. Yeah. Well, this is on Channel 10. Well, so we're... We can't get, is that cake? Yeah. We don't yeah. get that station and we're yeah. too far out in the country. Trouble you don't watch TV, you don't pedal a bicycle with a generator on it so the TV will work, is that right? <laughs> no, it's a watch. That's the captain's watch. And they hung it in the cabin of the ship. Oh my goodness. See, it, it magnifies here. Right. Yeah, uh -huh. I saw that. It magnifies here. Mm -hmm. But they'd hang that up there in the ship on the cabin, they call them cabin clocks, what they were. It even keeps the right time. Yeah. It's five o'clock. <laughs> That's neat. Goodness. Well, it's different. Yeah, it's different. Well, you have a lot of.